So day three and four was all about the first fix really of the pipe work and we saw a lot of the copper work and the pipes going in on that first day uh, which is really exciting to see. There's a huge amount of thought gone into the design here so there's um, various valves and different parts that will allow us to change out different sections in the future if we need to and expand the system. Everything was valved and we also decided to zone the upstairs and downstairs of the house so that meant a little bit of extra uh, work in the house to make sure we had the zone valves and all the wiring in place for the programmer. So we decided to zone a couple of different parts of the house and various different stats and controllers so there was a fair bit of thinking going into that. And here's where we brought the pipe work through into the main building which could be routed around upstairs and all the wiring came into several junction boxes and wiring sensors that would then distribute to the various pumps, valves and controllers. This is the existing old copper tank, you know, uh, completely uninsulated and um, far too small. So the new tank is almost six foot tall and it's a slimmer one but it will fit here so I've got to take out these racks before the guys arrive. New pipe work will be coming up in this gap um, like before. The tanks in the loft will obviously be coming out because it will be a sealed system. So that's one of the jobs for today. Back down the stairs you can see our hallway is well insulated. Uh, so I've got another 14 sheets to make their way all the way to the top floor and all those will get fitted today if I get myself into gear. So a little update in the kitchen. This is where all of our utilities go up and down. The old iron pipe will stay in there, but it's dead now. Uh, we've just put some conduit here uh, for the cables. Now we've zoned our upstairs and our downstairs separately. And that'll allow us to not have to heat the upstairs at all during the day. Uh, when we're at home during the day, uh, we can just have the heating on downstairs. That's hopefully gonna, um, you know, that saves us about 10 radiators worth of heating. And obviously there's TRVs upstairs anyway. So we could have a couple of hours, morning and evening, uh, on that one on a timer upstairs. Uh, the flow and return up to the cylinder. And this is the new mains water supply, the 22 mil that I've put in that comes uh, up there into the airing cupboard. And all this pipe work goes through the wall here and this is where the original boiler used to be years ago so the holes were there and we've, so we've come through with an elbow and all of those have gone through to the new boiler room and these are the flow from the hot water and the uh, central heating and they're just commoned into 128 mil that goes through so that's where i've spent my uh, last couple of hours and um, the water main is obviously being replaced and that means the old iron pipe and lead work is being replaced as well. So I've managed to find where the uh, bathroom supply goes off to the tap, the bath, the sink, um, and the toilet. And I've just paired it up with a new bit of copper, 15 mil, and that goes through to the airing cupboard. And that's where the new uh, supply will come up and connect into there, connect into the hot water. So as you can see, the, ba the bathroom uh, will be replaced shortly that our uh, floor needs a bit of attention. Uh, they finally reopened the road after keeping it closed for a day or half of it. Um, so we're gonna have our new water to connect soon. So I brought up this new supply um, from, uh, it comes into the house in 32 and goes across uh, into two, 22 into the kitchen and this is where it comes up. So this is supply the bathroom and the hot water cylinder and that should be fine. We were going to do it in 28, but I've been told that 22 will do the job fine. So I had to cut a few things. Uh, obviously the tanks in the loft will be redundant now. So I've uh, cut off that one and I can actually send our cold into that because it goes through into the bathroom. So bathroom supply will be going through on 15 as cold and 22 as hot. And uh, that's it, I think. Oh, well, there's a flow and return that I'm going to put valves on so when we come to do the radiators upstairs we can connect straight into them and we don't have to drain the whole system so I'll do that that's my last remaining job all of this pipe work then will be completely redundant and it can be taken out and then the new cylinder again tomorrow so just turn the water on for the first time and 
apart from a, a little accident with a uh, push fit that wasn't quite pushed it looks like the new systems all uh, all go oh yeah 